uncover the jaw-dropping details of China's $437 million mega project in Africa and witness how it is set to transform the future of the entire continent in ways you never thought possible. Welcome to a groundbreaking exploration of China's $437 million mega hydropower station project in Africa, a project so enormous it promises to revolutionize the entire continent. This amazing project, located in the center of the African wilderness, is nothing less than a technological miracle that will alter the face of the continent for all time. With 140 megawatt capacity, this hydroelectric plant will be able to supply millions of people with clean, renewable energy, while also generating thousands of new jobs and enhancing local economies. However, the story behind this initiative extends beyond only numerical data. In order to realize this lofty goal, Chinese engineers and African communities come together in this story of unparalleled ingenuity and cooperation. This project is a real monument to the strength of human creativity, from the gorgeous river that propels it to the complicated engineering that makes it all possible. Join us as we take you on a journey like no other through the heart of Africa's most transformative project yet, China's $437 million mega hydropower station project. Three nations, Mauritania, Senegal, and Mali, share the Senegal River, a notable river in West Africa. These nations joint endeavor to construct a sizable hydropower plant on the upper sections of the Senegal River is the result of their common desire to improve the region's electricity supply. It's fascinating that China is supporting this hydroelectric project in Africa. This goal has become a reality thanks in large part to Chinese aid. China's participation in the project was essential in aiding its completion and providing hydropower's advantages to the area. Given the importance of hydropower in fulfilling today's energy demands, this collaborative effort is extremely admirable. It is a great example of national cooperation and teamwork to attain a common objective. China's involvement in this initiative is an inspirational example of how nations can work together to make a difference and improve people's lives. Previously, frequent power outages afflicted African countries, forcing the closure of critical facilities such as industries and hospitals owing to a shortage of electrical supplies. This constituted a substantial barrier to these countries' economic progress, creating immeasurable pain for their populations. Unfortunately, Mali, Senegal, and Mauritania were unable to establish a hydropower plant on their own due to the low resources and technological competence. Before we proceed further and check the various financial and technical aspects of this crucial project, please make sure to hit the like and subscribe button below to stay updated with such type of mind-blowing content. Now let's continue. Fortunately, these countries did not abandon their hope for a better future. They founded the Senegal River Organization, uniting their resources and experience to tackle the obstacles they encountered. Despite their best efforts, their news failed to capture the attention of the world community, and few governments stepped up to assist. In recent years, nations such as Mali, Senegal, and Mauritania have seen a ray of optimism as China's Belt and Road Initiative has brought their development ambitions to the attention of the world community. With China's fast expansion, the Export-Import Bank of China saw promise in these nations' programs and took an active interest in their advancement. Encouraged by this encouragement, the three African countries resolved to seek loan assistance from China collectively. China decided to make a massive $437 million US dollar investment in these nations after extensive discussions to help finance the building of a sizable hydroelectric facility. This project is one of China's largest investments in Mali to date, demonstrating China's dedication to promoting sustainable development in Africa. The Guinea hydropower plant is now being built in Mali, Senegal, and Mauritania. Despite the difficulties created by these three countries' economic situations, they are adamant about finishing this project. They have offered to lend China a piece of their mining rights in order to make it happen. After evaluating the circumstances, the Export-Import Bank of China determined that the mines were valuable enough to serve as collateral for the $437 million U.S. loan. Both sides benefit from this transaction since China needs these raw resources to support its own growth, while Mali, Senegal, and Mauritania need the money to finance infrastructure development. China's creative approach to lending internationally is demonstrated by its decision to permit the mortgage of natural resources for immediate repayment.
With this strategy, resource-rich nations may develop more easily, and China can guarantee a consistent supply of raw resources for its own economic expansion. China and Mali collaborated to conduct a thorough investigation of the Senegal River for the construction of the Guinea Hydropower Station. After careful consideration, the decision was made to build the station in Mali, located in the upper reaches of the river. Despite the challenging weather conditions in Mali, including frequent floods, sandstorms, and droughts, the construction team overcame these difficulties with determination and hard work. China Power Construction Group was given the full project to build the hydropower plants in Guinea, and they also developed underground wells while doing so, employing hundreds of local employees. This provided convenience for the locals as well as a dependable water source for the building crew. In addition to bringing clean energy to the area, the project's execution boosted the local economy, opened up job possibilities, and improved the quality of life for residents. Mali still struggles with a variety of infectious diseases, which make it very difficult to carry out the project successfully. China has sent more medical teams to the region in order to combat this problem and train local medical personnel at the same time. Due to the lack of technical know-how in Mali, China has also sent 2,000 experts to the building site to teach African employees vital engineering skills. The Guinea Hydropower Station's post-construction maintenance is anticipated to provide thousands of technical jobs, underscoring the project's long-term advantages. The Chinese team will send engineers and teach local staff in hydropower station maintenance, in addition to sending engineers. This will provide nations like Mali with a group of technical professionals, decreasing their reliance on expensively employed foreign labor. The Guinea Hydropower Facility was finally opened in March 2022, after six years of hard effort. The station has a 1,317-meter length, a 19-meter height, and a 136 million cubic meter maximum water storage capacity. The station has been developed with three hydroelectric generators, that have a combined installed capacity of 140 megawatts. According to Power China statistics, this large hydropower station will generate 620 million kilowatt hours of electricity annually, benefiting Mali, Senegal, and Mauritania. Chinese high voltage equipment will transmit the electricity to these countries, ushering in a promising future for the entire region. More than 21.5 million people live in Mali, and access to cheap, clean energy is crucial for raising their standard of living. Building new hydropower plants or other power plants is essential to achieving this aim in this underdeveloped country. Long-standing Chinese aid and investment in Africa have played a crucial role in raising locals' living standards and infrastructure. Despite the backing of other countries, China's assistance stands out as the most successful displaying its sincere dedication to African states. Chinese infrastructure assistance has been crucial in enhancing the quality of life for native Africans. By making investments in cutting-edge engineering technology, China not only creates jobs for African citizens, but also gives those nations the chance to study and adopt these innovations. The people of Africa will be able to create their own industries and greatly improve their lives with improved infrastructure, such as roads, trains, and water wells. It is understandable why so many Africans thank China for the beneficial influence it has had on their societies. This connection between China and Africa is mutually beneficial in the long term and benefits both sides. There are genuine benefits for both sides to the constructive cooperation between China and the African nations. Africa's abundant stocks of raw commodities, which are prioritized for sale to China, complement China's proficiency in constructing intricate infrastructure projects there. In addition to assisting Africa's industrial growth, this symbiotic alliance enables China's manufacturing sector to obtain a steady supply of key raw materials. As African people's living conditions improve, so will their demand for product and services. As Africa is likely to become a key market for Chinese exports, this creates a big potential for China. Trade between China and Africa will not only increase economic connections, but will also promote cultural exchanges and collaboration in a variety of other fields. Thank you for joining me today to discuss China's mega hydropower project in Africa. As we've seen, this project is truly bizarre and will have a massive impact on the continent. Now as we wrap up, I want to leave you with one question to ponder. What does the future hold for Africa with projects like this? Will it lead to a brighter future for the continent with increased access to electricity and economic growth? Or will it have negative consequences, such as environmental damage and a loss of cultural heritage? Share your thoughts in the comment section below, and stay tuned to see such types of construction marvels in the future.